TLCC's X Pages course is delivered in a number of notes databases that the student downloads and installs in their local note system. The course is driven through the course lessons database and the student interacts primarily with the lessons database as they proceed through the material. Uh, they access the other databases as required like the discussion database when they have a question they post it there and it's replicated up to our server and then the instructor replies within one business day. The other databases that come along with the course are all activity databases uh, which are used for the various demonstrations and activities as they proceed through the material. I'm going to open up the lessons database right now. Uh, the lesson uh, database, uh, the lessons are grouped into several modules, a couple of introductory modules at the beginning, an overview on X pages, and module two uh, titled creating an X page covers some of the basics uh, in terms of creating an X page how to use controls. Now this is an overview on using controls in module three. We cover all of the different controls that are available in XPage design and how to use each one. Uh, so again, back to module two, an overview on using controls, an overview on using the very useful outline view uh, to work with the different elements in an X page, setting properties for the various elements in an X page, how to use events and the um, available simple actions that come in XPage Design, how to use the JavaScript editor, and how to set data sources for an XPage. So that's Module 2. Module 3, very detailed look at all of the controls that are available in XPage development. Module 4 proceeds with how to uh, display a view, a domino view in an XPage, how to display and edit a domino document using X pages. Module 5 covers styling X pages using style sheet sheets and themes. Module 6 is the programming options for X page design, uh, including both client side and server side JavaScript uh, using at functions in X page design, um, the various domo cl domino classes that you can access. Uh, through the Domino Object Model in XPage Design and how to use script libraries and some of the AJAX features available in XPages. Module 7, some very advanced topics including how to combine a view and document in an XPage uh, and several useful uh, advanced view techniques uh, like categorized views, uh, showing response columns in views and so on. Module 8, uh, takes a look at building custom controls uh, for use uh, over and over in your various X pages. And Module 9 focuses on the features uh, that uh, are new with 8.51, release 8.5, where several um, new features were introduced for X page development, uh, including, of course, X pages uh, support in the Notes client. Uh, so I'm going to scroll back. To module 3 to give you an example of how um, a lesson and activity flow for this student. So here in module 3 at the beginning we're going to show them how to use the various edit controls, uh, the edit box control, multi-line edit box, and we start out this lesson with a demonstration. So the user clicks on this button. Uh, in this case it launches up a specific X page in the web browser. So right now I'm in Internet Explorer and instructions on how to try out these various edit box controls. So there's going to be some instructions on, you know, entering some text here in this number control. And if I submit that, I'm warned that this field is not a valid number. So I can try again and enter in a number and that is now accepted. So I can try out these various controls. I can try out the password control, the date picker control, and so on. I can try out the rich text and multi-line controls. Okay, let me return to the lesson. So that was a quick demonstration of the various set of controls. Now as I scroll through this lesson, here are the details for applying all of those things. So first of all, some details on setting some properties for the controls, some common properties like the name, height, and width properties. 
how to create an edit box control by dragging it from the controls palette, how to set the properties for it, how to set the password property. So I'm just going to continue to scroll through this, but all of the details, the how-tos, are delivered in the lesson. Okay, so a demonstration of the various controls that are available, and then all of the de details for, in this example on my screen, you know, how to set a date time display edit box control. Okay, so I'm going to quickly scroll right to the very end of that just to give you a feeling for the kinds of details that are available. And then I'm going to close that lesson and immediately following that lesson the student encounters an activity on edit controls. So almost every lesson, every lesson, uh, is followed by an activity. Uh, so in this case they're going to try out what they just learned in that lesson on edit controls. So first off there is a demonstration of what they're going to be doing in the activity. So once again uh, we have an X page which shows the various types of edit controls and instructions on what to try out and what to test out in this demonstration. And then once they're done that, they go on to the activity steps, click the button to open in Designer the activity X page 31 X page in the Workbench database. So this button is programmed to open Designer and specifically open the X page that they're going to be trying out, that they're going to be coding, uh, designing to test out what they just learned in the lesson. So here in this activity, uh, we use uh, green instructions for anything that we want them to do in Designer while they're working with the X page in Designer. So um, step one, it says uh, next to the edit box number label out of control with these settings the, ta the, the type is edit box and specify to display a number so let me try that out so I'm going to add an edit box control here next to that label and I'm going to specify a display type of number now I'm going to skip some of the other um, steps where I add a password, date, time, picker, and so on. And I'm going to go right to previewing this. Okay, and this is the X page that I was just designing. I can try entering some text here and submitting that. And it's not a valid number, so that seems to be working well. Okay, it did accept the number. Okay, so let me return to the design. Okay, when I'm done that specific activity, I can return to the lessons. Okay, so I've just completed that activity on edit controls, and that's the complete cycle. So, a lesson where there might be some demonstrations and all of the details on how to perform some action, how to use some uh, feature of X page development and then an activity where the student tries that out. So if I move on to module 7 and one of the advanced topics uh, combining a view and a document on an X page okay again in the lesson uh, we've got some introductory material on what we're going to be learning in this lesson how to combine a domino view and a document on the same X page, a demonstration of that. Okay, and as I click on these links, which are in a domino view, I see on the same X page the document as well. And then the technique for how to perform that. Okay, so this is a very involved technique and a fairly lengthy procedure on all the steps to set that up. After that lesson, once again, an activity where the student tries that out. Okay, again, they click a button. The course is integrated with Designer, so it opens up the specific X page for them to design. 
and some very detailed instructions, once again in green, on what to do to set this up. Okay. Uh, one other point, uh, and that is the instructor support. So if a student is uh, having a problem or has a question related to the current lesson or activity, they can push the button to create related discussion. It's linked specifically to what they were viewing, so it provides some context to the instructor. Uh, the student can enter their question. Uh, they can mark it as private if they just want the instructor to see it or keep it as public and provide some details and then they can save and close that replicate that to our server and again the instructor replies within one business day. 